So you wanna create your own website, but you don't have the money to do it. That's fine. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own website for free. And by the end of this video, you'll have a website that looks like this. Clean, professional, and incredibly easy to do. And can you believe it? You didn't spend a dime to get it. Just a little bit of your time. And not a single bit of coding was used to make this dream website. All I did was use a super easy to use drag and drop page builder for the entire site. Now, before we begin, it's important to know the distinction between a free website with free hosting and paying for a professional domain with paid hosting. First of all, there's nothing wrong with getting a free website. I just want you to understand that the free part of your website has a couple limitations. When you get a domain name, you're not gonna be able to customize it. It'll be something like yourdomain.wix.com or .squarespace.com, or it could just be a bunch of numbers and letters at the end. Of course, with a professional.com domain, you'll be able to fully customize it so it looks clean and neat. If you're looking for a simple website just to display some basic information, then maybe it's not a big deal if you've got some extra fluff on the end of your domain. But if this is gonna be your personal business website, you might wanna consider looking into a professional.com. When you pay for hosting, you're going to receive superior technical support when things go wrong on your website. You also relieve the stress that comes with random suspension or deletion of your website. When you get free hosting, you're not paying for a spot on the server so they can delete it at any time for whatever reason. When you pay for hosting, on the other hand, you're securing your spot on the servers. They can't just pull your site off for no reason. I've also noticed that you receive better communication overall and you don't have to deal with confirmation emails or notifications not showing up properly. Of course, this falls under the umbrella of just better tech support when you decide to go with a paid hosting provider. Another important benefit of paying for your hosting is having an ad-free website. Again, if you're just looking to display some basic information and you're okay with ads being on your website, then the free option could be perfect for you. However, if you're looking to build a professional looking website for your business, you might not want other people's ads on there. If you're looking to build the best, most professional looking website for your own custom domain name and all the benefits that come with paid hosting, then click on the very first link in the description and you'll receive your first year free of domain registration, as well as a massive discount on your hosting plan. This is one of the best deals you'll find online for setting up a custom domain and a hosting plan. Now, for those of you who believe that a free website is all you need, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna be making this free website in two easy steps. The first step is to set up your free domain name and web hosting. A domain name is just the address to your website. It's what people are gonna type in to find your site. So something like yourdomain.com and web hosting is just renting space on a server that's connected to the internet so that people can see your website online. We're gonna set up your domain and hosting in three parts. The first part is to create an account with profreehost.com. Once you register with profreehost, we can move on to part two, which is getting your domain name. In order to do this, all you have to do is click on create new. Next, we can enter in the domain name we want to see if it's available. Now you can see your domain underneath where you just typed. Right below that, you can choose between a couple different options behind your domain. Now you can click on the check button. Under your account, you can see the new domain that you own for free. Next, part three is to install WordPress onto your new domain. WordPress is an open source platform where we can build your entire website without needing any coding. In order to do this, click on manage. And then click on control panel. Now scroll down to software and click on Softaculous Apps Installer. And now you can see WordPress right here. Click on install. You'll be taken to a page that looks like this. And here you can enter in your site name and site description, as well as create your admin username and password. You'll use this to log into your website to make changes every single time. Now WordPress has been successfully installed. I'm gonna go ahead and open my website up on a new tab. This is what it looks like so far. Your website is now live, so everyone can see it. So it's time to move on to the second and final step, customizing your website. First, let's log on to your website to make the changes you want. Go up to the URL, type in slash wp-admin right behind your domain name. This will take you to your website's login screen. Use your admin username and password that you just created to log in now. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to your WordPress dashboard. Now this is where the magic happens. You have complete control over your website here. Next, 
I want to install a complete website template to save you time from making it from scratch. And in order to download a template, we have to first install a theme. On the left hand side, I'm going to hover my mouse over the appearance tab and click on themes. Next, I'm going to click on add new and search for a theme called Astra. After I install and activate it, I have to install a plugin that also has all of the templates inside. Again, I'm going to the left hand side to hover over plugins and then click on add new. Plugins are just extra software that you can download onto your site to add functionality. On the right hand side of the page, I'm going to search for starter templates. You'll notice that it says these templates are from Astro, which we just downloaded. Once I install and activate them, I can enter the library. We're going to be using Elementor for this tutorial. From here, you can look through all the different website templates that they have available. Some are free and some have a price. Once you find a template that you like, you can click on it and install it. I'm going to skip adding my own logo. Here you can choose the different colors or fonts, but I'm going to skip to the end and install. I'm going to go back to my other tab and refresh my website. Now you can see that the website template has been installed and we have the full website here with all of the sample content. Part three is to customize your website. This is where you're going to delete all of the sample content and enter in your own images and text. To do this, I'm going to go up to the top ribbon and click on edit with Elementor. Once you are in Elementor, you can edit everything on your website directly on the page. You can change the text by clicking on it and typing directly on your screen. I'm going to enter in my name, Levi Hagen. If you want to change the text right here, you can click on it and edit the content on the left hand side of your screen. You can click on each individual item and change the icon as well as the text. You can change this image on the right by clicking on it. Then click on the image right here and replace it. You can change any text on your entire website the same way we did up above. If you want to change the icon right here, you can click on it and change the text below by clicking and editing the title and description as well as this message box. You can change the background image by clicking on these six dots and going to the style tab. Click on the image and you can replace it with your own. Lastly, you can click on this progress bar to edit it as well. You can change the title here and also the percentage. Once you've entered in all of your own content, you're ready to move on to the header and footer. I'm going to go ahead and close out of Elementor for now. If you want to change this area of the website, which is called the header, you can click on customize on the top left corner. If you want to change your logo, hover your mouse over the logo and click on the blue pencil icon. Here you can replace the image. If you want to edit the menu section, you can click on the blue pencil icon when you hover your mouse over the menu. In the same way, you can edit the footer at the bottom of the page. Scroll to the bottom of your website, hover over the part you want to change, and click on the blue pencil icon. Once you've completed all the changes you want to make, click on the blue publish button right here. Let's talk about how to add a page to your website. I'm going to go ahead and close and go back to my WordPress dashboard. From here on the left hand side, I'm going to hover my mouse over the pages and then click on add new. So here I'm going to title the page so I know what it is. Let's call it the services page. Once I have my title on the right hand side, I'm going to change one setting. Click on templates and choose Elementor full width. Then click publish. This page is now live on your website for everyone to see. After publishing the page, click on edit with Elementor on the top of the page. Here you can edit this page just like you did all the other pages of your website using Elementor. You can now click on the gray folder icon and also choose from a library of page templates as well. When you're done customizing your website, click on update to save your work and publish it live. At this point, you have a fully functioning free website at your fingertips. If you're looking to build your best website with your own domain name and all the benefits of a quality hosting company, then click on the link in the top left corner to upgrade your custom domain name at a discounted rate. 
And if you're looking for a more in-depth tutorial on how to build your website, where I show you every step of the customization process, then click on the video in the top right corner. See you guys.